In this video, I'm gonna destroy my hardcore world to build one single farm, and this is why. I have completely run out of slime balls. For me, currently, it's one of the most valuable resources, simply because of all the insane redstone machines you can build. So in this video, I'm gonna build a truly incredible slime farm. And to do that, I have to destroy the world. But why? Hostile mobs spawn within 128 blocks of the player, so if you destroy everything in that radius, you can make insane farms. Doing this is called a perimeter. So this area marks where I'm gonna build the perimeter. In terms of landscape it is the best area because there are some mountains that i have to like break down most likely but other than that like this should be pretty good first i need to mark out the entire area that i need to blow up so we need to break from this gold block to this gold block to this gold block and to this gold block but there's only really one thing that i can do here <laughs> burn i oh, freaking rain ruined my 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 burning now i'm gonna commit bombing Oh no! No! I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was what I would call a big disaster. I think it's working now. Yeah, it destroyed a lot of shit. But not really what I needed it to destroy. While that machine is going, I'm gonna keep burning down trees. The TNT machine was useful, but I decided to make some beacons and just mine down the rest of the mountains myself. So now I want the highest point of this area to be Y70. At the same time, I'm also gonna keep on burning down the forest. Ha 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 ha! Let's keep drying out all these rivers here. Die, die, die. So are we finally ready to actually start the bomb boom? Gonna remove my gold pillar. Oh my god, we already got our first line. Okay, let's get to building this flying machine. Here we've got to place two TNT, one here and one right here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna add some coal fan here. I don't know why this works, but this is what is gonna duplicate the TNT. A wall right here and right here. An observer here and a sticky piston pointing in this direction. On the other side, we have two glass blocks. Three slime up, one here, and then four in this direction. Observer, observer, and sticky piston, and sticky piston. Redstone, and then two glass blocks. Observer pointing downwards with a sticky piston pointing towards the middle. And this redstone block will function as the on and off switch. Slime, also an observer here, an observer here, then a regular piston here. One slime block, one piston, and then three glass to finish it off. We also need two pistons here, and also here. We remove these blocks under the TNT. Now all we gotta do is just make the return station. I'm gonna go and remove like all of the water next to this because I don't want it messing up the machine. We're just magically gonna remove all of the water like this. Ta-da! And now I think we're ready to start the boom. And now let's go. Okay, wait, I also, I already have to fix this. And yeah, it does return. So much chaos. But other than that, it's working well. I think we're ready to start the machine again. Now this thing will allow me to get all the way down to bedrock. I mean, I need to get more machines. I'm not gonna use just one of these machines. I'm gonna use three. So while that is working, I'm gonna go build the next machine. Second flying machine is done. Da -da -da. Now we're just completely destroying this land. Let's build a third flying machine. Three, two, one, go. Also start all the other ones. And this is how the area now looks like. I can't wait to see how it'll look at the end of the video. If you wanna know, you gotta watch till the end. Now all I gotta do is just make sure these things don't get ruined by lava or water. There's so much lava now everywhere. Oha! First set of diamonds. Even more diamonds. But what I will do now is actually pause all of these machines because like there's so much stuff I quickly have to fix. And when I said a lot, I meant it. Water and lava everywhere. And there was so much lava to break which takes such a long time to remove. This was pain. This is currently the progress that I've made. Wait. What the hell has happened here? Already found lava. What I meant. This is how the hole looked in the start. And this is now. Holy moly. Since we've been doing three machines, this is going like three times as fast, which is very nice. Because now this strip is almost done. So once this machine finishes this part, I'm just gonna place it all the way at the bottom here at the start. So we're just gonna keep like going, going. And it's taking so damn long because there's so much lava you have to move like here. And then you're sitting here with moving it and you're just here. It's, it's scary. What the f- okay, so this one finished its trajectory. I'm not gonna move it down right now because I wanna get rid of all this lava before I do anything else. And this machine is almost done with the first strip. I'm gonna do a lava break and break the first machine and rebuild it at the bottom. It's so much faster breaking this thing than building it. Just like that, it's all broken. Okay, I don't know what will happen here because I, um, I accidentally broke it. 
Wait, stop there then. Ah, it's because I actually have to break this one. Okay, I think this machine is ready to go. But I'm, I'm just worried it's gonna accidentally break like on the walls or something. But you know what? There's only one way to find out. Definitely looks like I made enough space. Oh, Diamondo, I'm getting those right now. Ha, also down here. And it's an 8-way. And I think it returned with no uh, problems. What the? Let's build the next flying machine. Now let's prime this TNT. Bang. And bang. Let's get rid of some of this wall, otherwise the machine will get stuck. And here we go. Let's hope it works. Okay, it did not work at all. Let's try this again. And it seems to be going. Oh, no, it somehow broke. It completely missed it. See if it works. Okay, it, it doesn't work. I have to rebuild this entire machine. So I now have four flying machines with all of the four return stations. We're now ready to try and blow up this world. I've spent a long time working on these, so please work. It is going good to the third one. That one is also going. And then the final one. Do I hear four working flying machines? Nope. <laughs> This, this is the clusterfuck here. It's at least going. That should mean it's working. It's so nice to see like what is underneath here. Like there's a massive cake cave and I'm so happy that it's not underneath my thing because there's so much lava. Like just check this out. It's so good that I don't have to go through this. I'm gonna completely destroy this hole and I'll see you when I have an update. So this is how the area looked in the start and this is now. Holy chakamote, this looks incredible and this thing's just Massive. And in here we're gonna build some overpower slime farms because I just love blowing up stuff and to blow up stuff you need a lot of slime balls. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually find out where all of the slime chunks in this area are. Here we're gonna turn on chunk borders and then in each chunk we're gonna place a small area where slimes can spawn. We found one slime chunk. Oh, also slime chunks here and also one over here and over there. Another slime chunk located. Oh ha! Okay, so I think we have these five areas to work with. As for the farm, I'm gonna build I'm just gonna try and build my own design and hope it works. Let's go collect the materials. The way this farm is gonna work is, of course, we're gonna do the spawning platforms all the way around this chunk. And this chunk is working. In the sense that we're gonna remove all these blocks. Then we're gonna have obsidian, which goes very high up. Then we light up this portal. And this portal is gonna link here in the nether. We're gonna build this portal on the other side as well. And we get some iron blocks, some pumpkins. Then we add iron golem here. Boom. And let's build the second layer. I'm gonna try and go to the nether and try and make the storage system just to see whether or not my design so far will work. And this storage system should work. Let's see if we get some spawns. It's already given me this much. Now all I gotta do is just place torches here. So it's only slimes that actually spawn. Yeah, then just build way more layers. Let's do time lapse. Right, that is one part of this farm complete. Now we can do four more of these and we should have a pretty overpowered farm. And while it is going, let's do the second one. The nice thing is we can actually add these together because this chunk is also one that spawns slime. So we just extend this. Let us do the four last farms. <laughs> This is how the finished project looks like. One thing I do want to do is actually test how good this farm actually is. So we're going to go to the farm, clear out all the slime balls, and then we're going to AFK for around an hour. One hour has passed. Let's see how much we got. Oh, oh, oh. Let's count all the amount of slime we got. So after counting all of the slime balls together, we have a total of 36,298 in one hour. What the fuck? <laughs> this farm is definitely strong. And now we have this massive hole where I can just build other farms as well if I get bored of farming slime. So yeah, we'll see. Goodbye.